Welcome to section 3, Running, Scaling and Observing Containerized Applications. This section will be dedicated to creating, launching and scaling containerized applications. You will learn how to create and deploy applications to the Kubernetes cluster. You will also learn how to configure the workloads to send metrics and logs to the centralized monitoring and logging platform. I will also give you an example of how it is possible to observe a single as well as a large number of workloads running on the cluster. In this video, you will learn what it means to run containerized workloads in Kubernetes and how to deploy them. Let's get back to GCP console. From the GCP console, let's start from opening the Cloud Shell. As part of this video, we are going to deploy an example application running in Kubernetes. We will follow through one of the example applications shown on the official Kubernetes website. This application will be a guestbook application. We will start small by deploying a single instance of this application. Then, later on in the section, we will scale the application to see what it means to observe an application at scale. Now, from the Cloud Shell, let's upload the application YAML file that is shipped as part of the video course content. With the file uploaded, Let's now go through it. In this application file, we are defining a deployment resource running Redis as master. Redis will be the backend of our application. Then, we are also defining a service which will be linked to this deployment. The service will not be public facing, but it will be a private service accessible only from within the cluster. In addition to that, we are also creating another deployment. This time, for the Redis worker instances. This deployment is there for high availability purposes, so that we don't just run a single Redis instance, but we can rely on more if something goes wrong. Similarly as with the Redis master, we are also defining a service for the Redis worker pods. Again, this will be a private service only available from within the cluster. Subsequently, we are defining the front-end application itself, the guestbook, the sample application will run only a single replica for now. Later on, we will scale this out. And finally, we are creating a service linked to the front-end application. The service is of type load balancer. That means it's going to be exposed to the wider internet via a single point of entry. Now let's close the file. From the Cloud Shell, let's now authenticate with the cluster. Remember to tweak the command I am about to run with the zone you are using for your cluster. And then let's create our guestbook application. Now let's check the status of our deployments, services and their corresponding pods. The deployments have been created. Let's now check the pods. The pods are also running. Some of them are being created. And finally, let's check the services. As you can see, all services are there. It could be that the front-end service external IP column item is set to pending. This should be only temporary. It means that Kubernetes is creating the load balancer which will be coupled with the service. Behind the scenes, this will be represented as an actual GCP load balancer service. And it is actually GCP that's bootstrapping the service. Once the load balancer has been created, you should see that field being populated. Let's now try again. As you can see, now we have the external IP for our front-end load balancer. Now, let's try to access the front-end service at the IP allocated by GCP. As you can see, our application seems to be running just fine. Congratulations, you have just deployed your first app to Kubernetes.